You know, when I look at this dish, I have a lot of doubts. The only thing that can save you is if this dish tastes a lot better than it looks. Yeah. You may have cooked yourself out of this competition. The final three are battling for two spots in the finale. This is the big one. They must create a dish that features one Canadian luxury protein three ways. But one of Trevor's is burnt to a crisp. Are we watching Trevor's hopes of getting into the finale go up in smoke? I gotta think of something fast. There's still a bit of skin left on one of my drumettes and thighs. Rip it off, I get it into the pan, start cooking it from scratch. Plan B, here we go. The dangerous thing about poaching beef is that your hands off. It's a mystery what's going on under the surface of the oil. I have to trust that the beef is going to cook. Hey there, Barry. Hello, chef. So you had a huge advantage in choosing your preferred premium protein. You went for the beef, so what is on the menu? Olive oil poached wagyu beef three ways to reflect spring, summer, and fall. So each will have a slightly different preparation, different spicing, and different side dishes for each. So you're only cooking the beef in one particular way? Uh, one cooking method, three variations with different spicing. Well, it sounds like you've got an interesting combination of ingredients, and I look forward to seeing how it all comes together. I do too, chef. Thanks, Barry. <laughs> Thank you. I think that choosing to cook the beef exactly the same way shows more skill. Spring, summer, fall. Peya is actually from a German heritage. She is working on her spetzel, very sort of German-inspired dumpling. Cooking with her family heritage. I think that's really smart. Everything's on the line right now. I need to make sure I can get everything done. I have grown so much in this competition, but being in the top two, that's going to be life-changing. Five minutes left. Three protein on that plate. I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna plate my dish. I go with this cast iron on a wooden board. I'm loving it. Barry, to cook the beef one single way, is that really achieving what we'd asked? Hopefully those sides and his steam takes it to the next level. I'm not going home today. It's so big. Maybe I'll put the schnitzel on the bottom. I'm trying to make everything look a little bit tighter and cleaner, but I ain't got no time. Two minutes, you have two more minutes. Come on, beautiful plate. Oh, geez, I think Taya's just burnt herself. Jeez. Ow. She's gonna have to push through that pain to get through this. All I can think about is my hand. It hurts so much. Oh. Worst burn. She's gonna tough it out. I wanna fight. One minute! You have one more minute left! Ow. One of you is going home, and two are going into the biggest battle of your lives. Oh, fuck. Ten, nine. Five. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's up! Wow. That was a very exciting cook. And now it's time to see how you all did. Barry, please bring up your plate. Everything that's needed for a good dish is on this plate. This is deserving of a spot in the finale. The Wagyu beef is poached and then spiced three ways to represent my three favorite seasons, spring, summer, and fall. What was the cook you were looking for on your beef? Medium rare. And do you think you've achieved that? I hope so, chef. You know, the tenderness of that beef is unquestionable. But the cook on all three pieces of this beef, it's rare, borderline raw. The seasoning, it is fabulous. And I love those mushrooms. Beautiful, fresh chanterelles, lightly sauteed. But the star has to be the protein. Yes, Chef. Barry. Chef Alvin. Poaching in olive oil, that is a big, big risk. Right? Yeah. And you know the consequences. The seasoning on this, you know that. I can taste that thyme and sage. And that, to me, that's fall seasoning. It's this puree. It's well seasoned. It's nice and smooth. The meat, honestly, it's a miss. But I see something out of the box and tell you it's not over till it's over. Thank you, Chef. The star of the dish was undercooked, but they like the flavors. I'm hoping it's enough. Knock them dead. Hey, uh, please come and bring your dish to the front. Good luck, sweetie. Thanks, Barry. 
I know my flavors taste good, but I have no idea if it's gonna be enough. I made a pork schnitzel with spatzel, a pork chop with a blueberry red wine reduction, and then I took the trimmings and sauteed a bunch of Brussels sprouts. You know, when I look at this dish, I have a lot of doubts. The only thing that can save you is if this dish tastes a lot better than it looks. Yeah. By the look of this, you may have cooked yourself out of this competition. Yeah. The only thing that can save you is if this dish tastes a lot better than it looks. Wow. This tastes amazing. The spatzo is delicious. I like the fact that you decided to put a different starch on the dish. Here's the thing, Taya, it just looks hideous. When you get that rare opportunity and privilege to cook in a finale, you have to do things that are gonna blow everyone away. Do you think you have that in you? I know I can do it, and I know I can blow people away. Taya, I'll be very honest with yeah. you, okay? It's not the prettiest. So, you have the blueberry, First thing I see, the cook on the pork. Okay, is that what you wanted? I wanted it just to have like a hint of pink to it. Wow. You have to cook right on. But not only do you have to cook right on, I think season-wise, it's on the dot. You know, sometimes it's what's inside that counts. <laughs> All right, Trevor. I'm feeling like a winner. This is a finale-worthy dish. I prepared a romesco sauce, crostini with the chicken breast, crispy chicken skin, and crispy purple potatoes, and uh, chicken drumette glazed with pomegranate molasses and honey. Looks beautiful. Doesn't mean anything if it doesn't taste good, chef. Absolutely. delicious. Thank you. Wonderful texture, the peppers, the almonds, olive oil, and has great depth of flavor. A great utilization of this wonderful chicken. Thank you, chef. It's amazing to see how far you've come in such a short time. I don't know how it tastes, but the way it looks, it's world class. I noticed you burnt the first batch did, of chef. chicken skin, but you saved enough to get through. Very smart. delicious. Where's all the sauce? There's almost none here. There's a small amount. I guess I could have put some more on there for you, Chef. I'm glad you didn't. The sauce is not balanced. It's very acidic and harsh. This looks great, but it's not a winner. Three big dreams hang in the balance. We're gonna need some time to consider this. This is a finale, a lot is at stake. We have to choose the right two. I'm a good cook, and I'm a creative cook. I belong in the top two, and I hope that comes true. We were looking for innovation, technique, creativity, always taste, and we found all of it. Unfortunately, not in one person. I want this so bad. This is gonna change my life. I know that I belong in the finale. You know, to want it is one thing. Everybody wants it. But do they have the skill to deserve it? I don't have the best dish, but I've grown more than any other home cook here. I deserve to be in the finale. Each of you impressed us in different ways, but only one home cook embraced the spirit of this challenge and showcased their protein in a beautiful, eclectic way. And that home cook is... Trevor. Congrats, man. Well done. I did it! I'm in the finale! Yeah! Come and get your chef's jacket. Wow, oh, thank you very much. Deserve it. This chef's coat is exactly what I wanted to achieve coming here. And now I'm wearing it. Looks good on you, son. Thanks, Daddy. I'm forever grateful. This is one of the best moments of my lifetime. Well done, Trevor. Congrats, Trevor. Proud of you, boy. 
Good luck, sweetie. You too. Now, to find out who Trevor will be competing against in the finale. Barry and Taya, you surpassed nine other finalists to get where you are right now. It's so difficult to say goodbye after everything you both achieved. But only one more home cook can make it to the finale. And that home cook is... Taya. <laughs> Congratulations, sweetie. Oh, my God. Please take off your apron and come and get your chef jacket. I feel like I'm having an out-of-body experience. I'm actually going to be in the finale. There are so many people who would die to have this spot, and I am here. I battled my way, and I'm now at the top.